This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, updates on Black Youngster. He was arrested yesterday for his involvement involvement in the Young Dolph shooting, uh, CIAA. They're connecting him to the shooting because the van used in the shooting was rented in his name. He has declared that he's innocent to the cameras as when he was going into court around 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Cameras caught him. He said, I'm innocent. Someone's snitching on me. Um, someone, someone's basically throwing his name in the mix, okay? Or somebody's setting him up here because he's claiming somebody might have stolen the van or something and used it in the shooting. I I, I think, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I think one of the, the people or soldiers with him or whatever, maybe someone took it upon themselves. I don't know what's going on here Uh This is a really spooky situation. Now, two other people turned themselves in that were connected to him. Um, Frederick Black and and, uh, and Tavius Gardner. They were taken into custody. Uh, They're pictured there. Um, Now, Black Youngster, it's official. He is out. He was out within three hours, made bail. And then his bail was set for $15,000 for each count. And... um, you, you can see all his charges there. He has one, two, three, four, five, six counts of discharge of weapon um, in, into like, like some of these bullets went into houses and stuff that occupied people, right? So that happened six times. So there's six charges for that. That's $15,000 for each one of those counts. I don't know how much the count was for felony conspiracy. They're saying there was a conspiracy to maybe commit a felony here like you know since nobody was really hurt by this you know that charge could go anywhere now i think that he's going to beat this i think the two other guys are probably going to take the charge um and he'll be out uh he's already out on bail he made bail by 207 p.m if you see by that record um i heard it was a hundred thousand i don't think it was that much i mean i think the thing totaled two hundred thousand and he probably put part cash part uh you know property so he's out he's declaring his innocence the van that he did unfortunately the van was in his name that was used to the shooting uh and we we saw that he knew about this on saturday he tweeted out on saturday you know growing up i was a firm believer in god still am i didn't know there were so many bust ass devils but god got me through this next situation i gotta go through so he knew on saturday that he was going to turn himself in on tuesday there had been a warrant out for his arrest for a while and um and these other individuals so they all are going in facing the music he's already out his lawyer's going to handle everything else and um i i really believe black youngster is innocent in this i'm gonna be honest with you I, i i don't believe i believe this guy was on a different path i knew he was on some aggressive stuff in the beginning but he got woken up to like, hey, man, I work so hard to get out the streets. Why am I still doing this? You know, like the streets always going to be in them. But why do that? You're doing legitimate business now, you know, and I think he knew that. And I don't think he was messing with this. But some people um, will do things on their own merit, you know, to prove their loyalty. And I think this is a case of that. I don't think I had any connection to him. Uh, or him saying for someone to do it. I think this is, and he just got sometimes wrong place, wrong time, hanging around the wrong people. I think he'll beat this. It's gonna be a, it's a, I, I, it's gonna be a up road, uphill battle, but he's gonna beat it. Anyways, this is uh, Jordan Tower reporting the news. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and like this, and I'll check you on the next video. Jordan, Jordan Tower.